Learning character animation gives you a power like no other. Once harnessed, it can be used to bring inanimate objects to life, create believable living, breathing characters, and craft stories limited only by your imagination. Hello, my name's John Knowles. I've been animating for over 25 years now, and I can't imagine a more enjoyable career. Whilst animation can be time consuming and take years to master, it's not as hard to get started as you might think. Free software makes animation extremely accessible, but the tricky part is knowing what to do next. That's why I've decided to put my many years of professional and teaching experience into this Character Animation Foundations course, and I'm making it available on YouTube so that anyone can start to learn animation for free. In this course, we'll be starting out with the fundamentals of animation, and we'll build things up progressively to the point where you can tackle the animation of simple characters such as this one. I often find that when new animators are first starting out, they understandably want to jump straight into animating more complex characters. Unfortunately, this approach is more likely to lead to confusion and frustration. By starting out with simple exercises, you'll be able to master the animation principles without becoming bogged down in complexity. This will give you a far better likelihood of success when you do move on to more complex animation. So, what's in the course? We'll start out with a lesson designed to help you understand animation spacing, before then tackling the classic bouncing ball exercise. I'll also show you how and why different balls behave in the way that they do, so that you can capture that within your animation. You'll then learn how to animate drag and follow through, before tackling your first simple animation with the toadstool. Finally, I'll explain my animation workflow before demonstrating step-by-step step how to bring this little toadstool character to life. Along the way, I've included additional exercises for you to complete by yourself in order to consolidate what you've learned. The principles that we cover can be applied using any 3D animation software, but I've specifically chosen to use Blender for this course. Whilst I've used many applications throughout my career, Blender is the one that I'd always recommend to beginners because being free, the barrier to entry is extremely low, yet it has all of the tools necessary to create high quality character animation. If you're new to Blender, I'd recommend familiarizing yourself with the interface and navigation first, but you'll only require a basic understanding of the software to complete the course. In addition, to make it as easy as possible to follow along, I've reset Blender back to the default preferences. As we progress through the course, I'll show you how to change a number of these preferences to optimize Blender for animation, but it's important to understand that every animator will have their own unique way of working. Feel free to experiment and pick the setup which works best for you. If you're new to animation, I'd recommend that you start out by watching my language of animation video to become familiar with the terminology that we'll be using within the course. And my principles of animation video, which provides an overview of the 12 principles of animation, which are essential to understand before you begin. Links to both of these videos can be found in the description below. This entire course will be available on YouTube, and if you'd like access to updates or the demo files and rigs to follow along, they're also available for free using the link in the description. Whether your goal is to create your own short animated films, or to start out on the path to becoming a professional animator, this course will give you the solid foundation that you need. So if you're ready, why not jump straight into the first lesson? <laughs> 